But will you look at that? A secret door. Ooh. Let's find out where it leads. And it closes behind us. You can pull this handle to make it open again, but we're not gonna. Hmm, very interesting. Now, it's dark in here. I can't find my way. Oh, look, I found light. Oh, well, look, fire marbles. So I guess we have to light all these fire marbles by touching them. Uh, oh no, where am I going? I'm lost. There we go. I got lost for five seconds. So by touching all these fire marbles, we find a way back. And that's where we're going to eventually have to go. We, you don't technically have to light every single one of these fire marbles, but it's a good idea. Because this is the way that leads to the Moiety's hideout. Oh yes, very clever indeed. And, going down this path, well, would you look at that? I circled with a bunch of animals. Also, the Moiety Dagger. Yes, that's water. It does something really cool, which I thought always thought was an awesome effect in Riven. Now, if you watch very carefully, there's a specific code we need to enter to get to the Moiety's hideout. And it was in the sound clues with the eyeballs that the Moiety hid around the islands. Um, so here is the code. You have to first you have to find the fish, because it came first. And it can be difficult to locate. This is the fish. Dig that epic music. This song is called The Red Cave. I don't know why it's called The Red Cave, but it is. Next animal is the beetle, which is right here. Third is the frog, which is off to uh, the right. Which actually is called a Yatram. The word Yatram came from a guy who was calling the Miller Brothers to be their sound designer. Um, and Yatram is Marty backwards, and the guy's name was Marty. So, we have the frog. Now we have the sonner, which is this weird looking thing. And last but not least, we have the Great Work. The representative animals of Riven, all five of them. Now watch and learn. It's extremely cool for the show. The water becomes heated. I guess by that plate back there or something. And it spills into those channels. This is when I wish we had those 3D look around effect that we have in Exile and Revelation. Because it'd be so cool to watch it flow all the way to the back. Mm. And now it opens. Mm. God, I love this game. I think it's probably one of my second favorite games uh, of the Mist series. Exile has to be first, Riven is second. Now I want to show you guys something, if it exists. All the water is back here. Turn back. There's a little bit of water stuck behind the warp stone. That's water. And now, this shows Tay. This is the home of the Moiety. Um, after they were persecuted by Gen, they moved- Catherine wrote this age for them and moved them all here. It's a giant hive, basically. My god! It's full of bees! Holy shit, that sound out there, it sounded like thunder and it was really epic. As you can see, the hive. Very gloomy age. We can't really get there, there's there's no boat, we can't play Phantom of the Opera. As awesome as that would be, we could just like gondola our way across and sing show tunes, it'd be awesome. You know it would be awesome. But well, looks like there's nowhere to go, so... That's a statue. Oh no, we've been caught! Ah! Ugh. Moo cupcakes. Five more minutes, Ma. 
Where am I? Oh no. Guys, we seem to be trapped. Um, we're inside of the hive. Oh man. This bowl, this is one of the Rawa spider egg clues. Oh, whew. Oh, what a trip, man. What a trip. Gah. Still a little, uh, Took up from the, whatever they hit us with. This is a nice little view out onto uh, Moiety Society. They all live in smaller huts inside of bigger huts, which is kind of cool. It kind of is reminiscent of um, the exile, um, the, the giant puffer spore trees in Mystery Exile in Narayan, which I'll point out later. Um, you can see a guy go across in there, you can sometimes see people go here, sometimes you'll see them go down here. And they're all dressed in that same clothing. Hmm. Looks kind of cozy, actually. Giant tree full of, like, paper wasp nests. Because it kind of reminds them of home. Hmm. Oh, looks like somebody's coming in. Hello? Hello, I, I'm not going to hurt you guys, I swear. I swear. I'm on your side. I'm afraid I don't understand. I decide? Okay. Oh. Okay. I didn't understand what she wanted us to do, or what she was saying, but I think I understand what she wants us to do. It sounds like she said, you decide. This down here, this is Catherine's. This is the trap book. We are not going to touch this till we reach again. Because it causes very faithful decisions to be made. Uh-huh. Now that we've picked up the book, she should come back. That kicker's name is Nela. She's a friend of... I think it's Nela. She's a friend of, um, Catherine's. Huh? I guess she's worried about Catherine, which makes sense because she's Catherine's friend. Well, she's put down a linking book back, so... I guess we should take it. I guess she's legit. Maybe we should trust her. Here goes, guys. Guess we better thank her for getting our asses out of trouble, huh? Otherwise, we might have been stuck there forever. Hmm. Huh. Well, that was crazy. Next time on Riven, we're gonna go deal with again and solve the dictatorship overthrow the dictator that has ruled the islands of Riven for so long until then this is the phantom safety pin i'll see you next time folks when we finally put Riven and again to rest